Hi Scorpios, welcome to new week. I hope you guys are all doing well. We're covering October 7th till the 13th and we're going to look into your health, career work, finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships just like we do every week and this time I'm also going to get three separate individual um, message for you for the three major events happening this week with Jupiter going retrograde, Pluto going direct in Capricorn, and uh, Mercury going into Scorpio. And I did already post the weekly astrological energies video for you, so make sure you go watch that, check that out before watching this so you get a general feel and overview of what's going on in the sky for all of us. And I'll have the link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards as a part two and a continuation. All right, so with that, with all that being said, let's get right into it. So um, for Jupiter and Gemini going retrograde for the next four months um, until February 4th, um, I believe, what past wisdom or what wisdom and knowledge are you going to have to use or re reuse, revise at this time in this next little while? So maybe information that you... Um, may have thought or may realize it wasn't as wise or maybe it is wise you're gonna to have to reuse for a current situation or experience that may um, be similar or be uh, kind of like a repeat of the past so what past or what information wisdom and knowledge do you need to use or revise at this time or in this next little while for all my scorpios sorry guys if my voice is kind of like raspy. I have like a slight sore, sore throat, so I'm a little struggling today. All right, so for all my Scorpios, Jupiter, Gemini, Retrograde, what past wisdom knowledge do they need to reuse or revise? <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, so you guys got the unknown card. So there's some past information or past wisdom and knowledge that, um, you may need to use or revise, but you're not gonna know what that is exactly, or it just may be something that you are you have yet to discover. So it could be information you never got, you didn't get the answer to it, or you don't know, you, don't, uh, you didn't get the full story or the full information, and so that's what you're gonna maybe have to look into, or what you have to use or revise is the simple fact that you may not ever get to it you may not you may not actually know or get the answer that you're looking for and just may be a mystery so it can go either way but uh whatever information or knowledge or wisdom that you use or advise you may not know it yet or you may not have it or you may not ever really get the full story or get the full get the full uh information that is needed at this time or it has yet to be discovered so that is something that you're going to be maybe thinking about or uh, gaining wisdom and knowledge from new things that you don't know the answers to um, but you're going to discover at some point or maybe realize I'm not meant to know maybe I'm just not meant to know this and that's going to give me wisdom and knowledge knowing that I don't need to know everything and that's the beauty of it okay all right, now let's see what is uh, for Pluto and Capricorn going direct. So what or where are you transforming, rebuilding in your life? Or creating a new structure, foundation, security, legacy. What or where are you transforming or rebuilding? Seven of Pentacles. All right, so um, the area of life or what you could be uh changing or rebuilding in your life is your uh, relationships. Relationships are how you communicate um, and show maybe more patience in uh, the things that you've been working on or the things that you've already accumulated. You're, you're going to start to make sense of it and see, okay, what I actually already have enough of, I don't need more of that, or what I need to continue to take action and work on, and maybe what things I can pull back on. Because Seven of Pentacles is usually like maybe feeling a little frustrated or wondering, is this worth it? Should I continue? Am I wasting my time? So that is what you're going to get more clear on moving forward. You'll know what you need to take more action on or build, rebuild or transform or see, okay, you know what? I have enough. I don't need to work any harder on this. But um, you just sextiling uh, Capricorn in general, it helps you to have more favorable energy where you know what you need to change and transform and it's not as impactful or not as intense um, because maybe you're you're already doing that or you're already seeing the reality of this 
and I think you're working on this within your personal relationships or within yourself and seeing what you already have enough of and what you need to continue or you don't need to continue any more of that. All right, now, Mercury in Scorpio, which maybe some of you already have this in your uh, natal chart, but even if you do or you don't, let's look into it. So what do you need to think and communicate a little bit deeper about using connection and emotion or maybe be a little more private and strategic? Let's see, for all my Scorpios. All right, so you guys got here the Four of Swords. All right, so what you need to think and communicate maybe a little deeper about or be more private and strategic or maybe just use more emotion and connection is your own private logical thoughts. So it's funny because it's like complete opposite of what Scorpio, Mercury and Scorpio is, but I feel like here you need to go a little bit deeper about the things that you avoid um that you maybe know is logical or rational or maybe you the things you don't want to think about the things that you would rather just rest on and leave and you know deal with later um or things you procrastinate on those thoughts that logic is what you need to go deeper about and um instead of ignoring it or uh procrastinating and leaving it for another day and you the things that you don't want to think about that are logical and practical is what you do need to spend more time going deeper into. So this is probably stuff that's not that fun, it's not that exciting, but this is what you need to focus on, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, we all wanna watch our favorite TV shows or watch that movie, cause it's like more exciting and fun, but no one wants to do all that like tedious work, you know, at your job, you're like, oh, I don't wanna do that, I'll do that another day. But that may be something that you should be doing or spending a little more time going deeper in than the fun stuff, if that makes sense. All right, so basically the stuff that you don't wanna do, that you'd rather just sleep on and rest, that's what you should be going a little bit deeper on. <laughs> All right, so let's get into your reading. Sorry, this may be a little bit longer, but let's get into it. So health this week, you guys got the Six of Cups. So it looks like you're healing. Um, you may be healing from something that you used to have a hard time with in the past. Maybe you're healing a relationship, um, something with your stomach, your digestion, like maybe something that used to make you sick before. Now you don't have a problem with it or now you're able to eat it. Now you're able to do that activity without too many issues. So you're building some kind of reconnection maybe from to the past or healing your body from the past and maybe rebuilding a connection with someone in your life as well. And that is healing you in an emotional way. So a friend, family member, lover, anybody, um, but I think overall you are healing and reconnecting better with yourself in an emotional way. So you may feel more in tune or understanding yourself um, a little bit better at this time. Or something that used to cause you issues, now you're rebuilding that peace and um, uh, connection again. All right, and then um, when it comes to your work, school, career, and finances, you guys got the Six of Swords. So in this area of life, I also feel like you're finding solutions to your problems. So you're advancing forward, you're finding more peace and harmony, making sense out of maybe issues that were frustrating you with people, technology, projects, plans. It's like you're able to move forward now with more clarity and truth and understanding. So if you had any arguments or you had any frustrations or things that were concerning you, frustrating you, you, it looks like this is the week where now it, you may start to get the answers and work through those problems and you can kind of move forward now to uh, things ahead of you. You could also be traveling for work or may have to go out of town or go somewhere or uh, have a conversation with someone that helps you guys just be in peace now and there's no more animosity or weird energies, uh, feelings between the two of you, okay? And especially if you had an argument or misunderstanding with like an air sign, uh, it looks like you guys are be able to move past that and move forward in peaceful ways. Now, when it comes to your love, romance, dating, or relationships on your side, your energies, you guys got the tower, four of cups, and the high priestess. So some of you could definitely be double Scorpio or um, have Pisces somewhere in your chart, maybe even Cancer. 
So very strong feelings and emotions this week, but I also feel that you have a lot of power on your side. It's just about using it in the right way, okay? Or knowing how to use it. Now, on this other side for this other person, this could be someone you're dealing with right now or you will be dealing with at some point, and this is their energies. Got the King of Pentacles, King of Cups, and Justice. Nice, very, very nice. Whoever you're dealing with definitely is mature, high vibrational, very grounded, responsible, but also someone who's emotionally intelligent, emotionally involved and available. So they seem to have like a, a very good characteristics, a good kind of full package almost. So uh, this person could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or uh, Libra as well, or Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, or could have one of those signs somewhere in their chart. But if anything, could be any other sign. So um, what's going on with you? It does look like you're going through the, your own like internal uh, emotions and changes. You may be having a change of heart or you're just going through some deep internal changes emotionally and how you felt before is going to be is not going to be how, um, how you feel anymore moving forward and so you just may be going through a lot and but you may not want to show it or you may not want to express it or tell this person or express uh, or share it with them but a lot of it's like your own how you see yourself your own private emotions that you just want to deal with on your own and it may cause some insecurity some make you feel a little self-conscious or you're trying or you're kind of like have like a midlife crisis like rethinking things or this is how i feel why do i feel this way uh what's going on so your own emotions may be kind of like throwing you off a little bit but that's why you're trying to keep it to yourself so you may be more private more reserved with your feelings and emotions and maybe towards your partner or someone that you're dealing with you may not be sharing as much you're kind of just sitting back observing reading the room and you're kind of holding back a lot more this week and it makes sense with venus and mercury being in scorpio so you kind of are to yourself a little bit more reserved and you don't really want them to know what you're thinking, what you're feeling. But I will say that this person is someone who means well with you. They seem to be very serious, uh, grounded, responsible. Their actions show that. Their feelings and emotions, they have a lot of feelings and emotions towards you. Has a great head on their shoulder. And they want to treat you right. They want something fair and balanced. And they're being honest and truthful with you. But they, I think it's just just keep that in mind that you want to treat them right i'm not saying that you not you're not treating them right but don't push them away too much because i do feel like this is a very solid individual who means well has good intentions and you just don't want to make them feel like you know you're shutting them out if that makes sense if anything you could just express to them you know i'm kind of going through some things i'm just feeling this like intense emotions i just need a little bit of space but it's nothing against you let me just process this on my own and when i'm feeling a little bit better I'll contact you, but you don't want to let too much time pass. But I do feel like just their presence, it probably does help calm you down. It does help you feel a little bit more grounded. And you do see that this person makes an effort to like and respects your space, respects your energy. And um, they see both sides. They like to have a balanced, harmonious, fair approach to everything. And um, I think you know that you can trust and confide in them. Uh, but you just may be feeling overwhelmed with certain feelings and emotions that they may just not understand or you don't have like the energy or the time to want to express it or like explain it to them. Okay, so all my people out there, if you're cross watching for your Scorpios, don't worry, they're not doing anything crazy or shady. They just may be maybe going through some things. They need some space. Give them some space. Don't overwhelm them or smother them. Um, just make sure you, you tell them you're there, you love them, and you're, you know, everything's gonna be okay. All right, so let's get to Sun and Extended to get more information, see where their energy is at, what are they thinking, what are they feeling when it comes to you, what they don't want you to know that maybe you should know, and what their next action move will be towards you, and then follow it up with your advice at the end, okay? So we'll get to Sun and Extended, link will be below. I'll see you guys there, and I'll see you for your next reading. Take care. Bye.